Hello everyone, welcome to Digital Doorway YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss HubSpot's campaign tool and how you can use this tool uh, to the best of your ability. Now, when you start running any campaign, you have several assets which are used, several different medias which are used to run a campaign. You, you use emailers, you use landing pages, you use social media posts, uh, you use Google campaigns, search campaign, you know, social media campaigns. Uh, so there is there is no specific tool to tie all of this assets together until HubSpot came up with this amazing campaigns tool. Now this tool combines all of these assets, uh, you know, in HubSpot and allows us to measure the effectiveness of our collective marketing campaign. So in other words, a concentrated effort to align all of our marketing channels around a single offer and goal by tying every asset in HubSpot together to give you to give your campaign every chance of success. So what we are doing is that we have under the asset section, email, landing page, workflows, etc. All of this, we are tying all of these and more. If you have anything else, you can add uh, to this. So we are tying or combining all of these assets into one platform, which is the campaign tool platform. And then we are measuring the effectiveness of uh, the campaign. So, uh, so how do you un how how do you go about doing this, right? So let's head over to the dashboard of HubSpot. Over here on the marketing section, you have the planning and strategy, and in that you have the campaigns tool over here, right? When you click on it, you come to this dashboard. As you can see, I have several of these campaigns already over here, right? So. I mean, I can in, under the actions, first of all, you can create a tracking URL, we can edit the details, we can edit the goals, we can even clone this campaign and we can delete it. Now, if I click on create tracking URL, then uh, I have, you know, the the URL and the source, where the source, as you know, is email marketing or paid search, social media, other campaigns, whatever you want, that will be that will come over here. And then we have the medium, the UTM term and UTM content. Now this is very similar to what you would do when you are trying to build a uh, UTM parameters, right, uh, in Google. So HubSpot also offers this UTM tracking URL, uh, which is which you can use uh, in different campaigns. So let's close this, and you might ask that you know what's the difference between the normal UTM and HubSpot UTM. So HubSpot campaigns are uh, used to tag related uh, marketing efforts and content HubSpot. So we can measure the effectiveness of our collective marketing efforts. UTM campaign tags are used to track traffic. You know, HubSpot campaigns may include tag traffic that is tagged with UTM campaign parameters, but not all campaign parameters are necessarily related to campaign. So let me explain what this means. I'm just going to go back and show you one more. Uh, let's get started with this one. Okay, so this is a campaign which I uh, ran. Now this campaign has 4,999 sessions. Now the traffic to web, web pages, landing pages, blog, etc. New contacts were 142. Influence contacts were 2,028. Now there is no attributed revenue because this is a real estate campaign. Now on the header, you can add your assets over here, which I was mentioning before. So we have blog posts, we have social media posts, CTAs, emailers, landing pages, and all of these. For example, if I click workflow, then we can select from whichever workflow it's there, website pages, you know, lists, even lists uh, can be associated, uh, landing pages. As you can see, I've already, I have two of these landing pages over here. One is landing page and one is the thank you page. But nevertheless, these are two related to landing pages, so I've selected these emailers, Okay, you can see over here emailer which is already selected. So we are tying all of these individual uh, assets into combined uh, and combining them into the campaigns tool. It shows me the uh, the chart over here. And let me just minimize this. So whatever individual assets I have uh, added in this particular Hobart Gardens campaign, what happens here is that I have six CTAs and the total number of views are 41,659 CTA views and the number of clicks are 1,550 and you can individually see these CTAs 
right you can see the views and you can see the clicks under actions you can edit this CTA or remove it from this campaign okay fair simple enough uh, the emails that are in this campaign uh, whatever emails I've done you can also click over here and compare all of these emails for example if I click here then you can compare all of these emails side by side which is which gives you uh, it's really granular in its approach and it gives you uh, you know information that you can show to your management and and see which campaign is really working as you can see this open rate is 35 percent over here this this campaign sent on 10th february versus 17th may and you can move and check all the you know campaigns right from starting from 19 january 19 november sorry 2019 onwards so as you can see i'm getting a very good open rate of 33 percent and the click through rate is 10 percent which is very high okay so you can you can see over here the open performance the revenue and the click performance email health uh, you know um, readability etc how many was how many spam reports were there how many hard bounces soft bounce etc so it's really granular and you can check all of these coming down we have the landing pages how many landing pages were associated with this I have two landing pages and one thank you page uh, so the landing page is again showing the number of views and submissions so you you can know that which landing page you can also do a b testing but uh, you know i've done this a b testing over here and this was run during the COVID time so i created a separate landing page okay just to know how my campaign is running so th th this one i i assume that did, i think that this is doing a better job uh workflow as you can see this is the workflow over here uh, joint goal list how many uh, people completed the goal that I've set and you can click here and again edit and remove so I can check how many people completed the goal after starting the workflow you know, 203 visitors started the workflow and 73 you know people completed the workflow giving me a 35% 36% conversion rate and we have the traffic from different sources you know I have for this campaign I've just done email marketing and paid social so this has given me 12 new contacts over here and 27 contacts here so you can also add more assets like I showed you or you can create a campaign uh, tracking URL which I showed before and there's also edit details where you can you know I, I didn't put the budget but feel free to add let's say ten thousand dollars uh, and you can say that you know budget for budget for three months or something around those lines and you can save it you can clone this campaign and uh, you know these are the different uh, things available in this uh, campaign tab. again you go to marketing planning and strategy and campaign so it's tying all of my assets and you know you can create separate urls for each of these like i showed you before so it's really granular and it's it's a good way to see which uh which email is done well which cta has done well uh you know which landing page is doing well and then when you tie all of these and combine all of these it gives you a first hand idea and just coming back to and also if there's a specific place for you to see you know which uh, the, the effectiveness of this campaign so you go to analytics uh, so you go to reports oh sorry analytic tools and then you go to campaign analytics over here so this is the campaign that I'm looking at So you get all of these, you know, even in the, uh, you know, from the reports tab also, you can select it and uh, let me just untick this, this and this and click on this campaign and it gives you, let's take last, last 365 days for year, you can see the metrics over here. Uh, in terms of column uh, line chart 
so you can also export this uh, you know and you can frequency also can be set differently so this was about the uh, the campaigns tool which is an exciting tool in HubSpot uh, I hope you like this video and please feel free to put in any comments if you have any doubts I'll be happy to reply to them I would also be happy if uh, you would want me to uh, uh, review your campaign if you are using a HubSpot account so please uh, like my video and share it uh, thank you all bye